show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah. Wow, hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> What an awesome adventure, Eddie! Yeah, awesome! Steady Eddie is always ready to lead an adventure! Whew! That big adventure made me really tired. <laughs> well, not as tired as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, guys? It's Sophie's turn to pick. I was thinking maybe... a picnic? Yeah. I love picnics. I am pretty hungry. Great. I'll go get the picnic basket. <laughs> a picnic doesn't sound like a very exciting adventure, does it, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it does to you, but everyone else really likes Eddie's adventures. Huh? But maybe I can make today's picnic a big Eddie kind of adventure. Thanks, Lucky. That's just what I'm going to do. <coughs> Looks like our picnic is ready. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Come on, we're going on an awesomely amazing picnic. Awesomely amazing? Today we're going to the meadow. Uh, I mean, we're going to a restaurant. Huh? huh? No, wait. Fairytale Land. The most exciting place ever for a picnic. Awesome! Cool. Yay! Dig a do. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. is about to begin. This is a great place, Sophie. I've had lots of picnics here. What? You've had lots of picnics here? Uh-huh. It's so nice and quiet. Well, this isn't exactly where we're going to have the picnic. What do you mean, Sophie? This place is too quiet for an awesomely amazing picnic. We're just here to... The dragon. He's gonna help us toast the marshmallows, right, LD? Marshmallows? Yum! I love toasting marshmallows. Show them how it's done, LD. <laughs> Toasted to a perfect golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But if we aren't eating here, where are we eating? Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Oh, what would Eddie do to make this picnic super awesome and amazing? <gasps> I know. Follow me, friends. We're going someplace where no one, not even Eddie, has had a picnic before. Huh? huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Isn't it awesome? And amazing? Just like one of your adventures, Eddie. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Sophie. <sighs> cool? It's freezing. Yeah. 
Are we gonna have a picnic in the snow? Um, no. We're gonna eat the snow. Snow cones, that is. Hi, Mr. Penguin. We'll have six snow cones to go. We'll have them for dessert someplace nice and warm. Scientific fact, snow cones melt when they get nice and warm. Uh, of course they do. That's why Mr. Penguin and his snow cone cart are coming along with us. Off we go to the most awesomely amazing picnic adventure ever! Cool roar, Aldi. That was my tummy. <laughs> Can we please stop and eat now? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so hot. But we have to go somewhere exciting for our picnic. I know. Let's ride motorcycles to the marketplace. Huh? Uh, how about... We go to the farm! <sighs> we like it here. <laughs> okay, we'll eat here. It's just, I wanted today's picnic to be awesome and amazing. Hey! They have our picnic basket. What should I do? What would Eddie do? Follow me, everyone. We gotta catch that picnic. Let's go! I've heard of lunch to go. But this is crazy! Stop! <laughs> now what do we do, Sophie? I don't know. What should we do, Eddie? Huh? You always know what to do on awesomely amazing adventures, so I've been trying to be just like you. Why do you want to be like me, Sophie? Everyone loves an Eddie adventure. My regular Sophie kind of picnic is never that exciting. We love your Sophie picnics. You always bring the best treats. And everything is just right. Yeah, perfect. Sophie style. You don't ever have to try to be like someone else. Be like you just the way you are. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like things quiet, some like them bold. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. Cause you're the best you. Some like to fly high, some like it on the ground. Some like things tidy, some like to mess around. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. So just remember, be true to yourself, cause you're the best you. Thanks, guys. It feels good to know that you like me, just the way I am. Of course. We sure do. Yay, Sophie! You are one of a kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It sure would be nice if we could have one of those Sophie-licious picnics right now. But the monkeys took our food. Hmm. Well, then we'll have to fly over there and get it back. Can you give us a lift, LD? Sure. But I can only carry two of you. Are you ready for an adventure, Eddie? Steady Eddie is always ready, Sophie. Let's go. We need two snow cones, please. Thanks. Here we go. <laughs> hey, guys. <gasps> yeah. yeah! You did it, guys! Woohoo! Awesome! Follow me, everyone. I know the perfect place for a nice, quiet, relaxing...
relaxing picnic. That picnic was awesomely amazing, Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for helping out, everyone. Next time, I'll just be myself. Trying to act like somebody else is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Whose turn is it to pick what we do now? I think Lucky has the right idea. <laughs> What is this strange activity? It's called hopscotch. <laughs> you must be an alien. Correct. One alien, two, two heads. heads. Cool. Which is your favorite head? Question, Question does, does not, not compute. compute. They don't have a favorite. It's like having two legs. <laughs> <laughs> you like them both. Want to play? We thought you'd never ask. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. I spy with my little eye. Um, <laughs> something really cute. Is it a pumpkin? Pumpkins aren't cute. They are if you carve them that way. <laughs> <laughs> beep. Oh, oh boy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Oh, oh, oh. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Oh, no. Alien down. Oh. <laughs> hey, you guys want to play hopscotch now? Sure. But I thought you liked playing I Spy with me. I do, but hopscotch with an alien is pretty awesome, too. Uh... Hello? Guys, it's Farmer Jed! Cool! Woohoo! I'll bet he's on his way to set up for a harvest festival somewhere. What's a harvest festival? It's like a big party with hay rides and pumpkins and games and artists and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'd love to go to a harvest festival someday. Me too. Yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to show my paintings there someday. Why wait? Let's all go to a harvest festival today. <gasps> Yay, let's do it! Harvest festival! Good idea! Of the whole harvest festival. 
everyone will love it. Yes! It'll be am amazing. <laughs> the cow gives the milk, then we mix it around in this thing we call a churn, and before long... Butter blocks! Later, we'll shape them into sticks, like you get at the store. You can shape the butter? Like the clay we play with? Yep, just like that. Hmm. 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 Farmer Kobe, I have an idea. May I have some butter blocks, please? Uh, sure. Take all you need. Thanks. And remember, careful not to let them get too warm. They might melt. Ooh, it looks beautiful, Emma. Thank you. It's going to be the biggest, best painting I ever made. <laughs> hey, where's everyone going? Don't you want to see me finish my painting? <gasps> Emma! Look at what Jack is making! What in the world is that, Jack? I'm making a sculpture, Emma. Part cow, part sheep, part horse, part turkey, and all butter. I call it the Big Beautiful Butter Beast. A butter beast? That's not a real thing. My painting is full of real things. You should all come over and see it. Right, Mia? Wow. Mia? Ahem. <clears throat> huh? Oh, right. Coming. Oh, I don't get it, Mia. Everyone said that they loved my painting. But now they're looking at Jack's silly, buttery sculpture thingy instead. I think it's cool. And I think your painting is awesome, too. <sighs> well, I'm not going to finish it. What? Why not? Because everyone likes Jack's butterific sculpture more than they like my M amazing painting. Even you. I love your painting. And I love Jack's Butter Beast. I love them both. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah. Never thought about it that way. But what about all those other people? I think they like them both, too. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods, and that's okay. Hmm, really? Let's see. Like fall, in winter, summer, and spring. It's great to like a lot of things. It's great to like a lot of things. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so people can like Jack's Butter Beast and my Harvest Festival painting. People can like a lot of things. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. What's happening? My big, beautiful butter beast is melting! What do I do? What do I do? We can't let my brother's awesome statue melt. Come on, Mia. We have to get help so we can save the butter beast. Save the butter beast! Save the butter beast!
was afraid maybe you wouldn't like my sculpture. I mean, it is sort of weird. Of course I like it, Jack. In fact, I love it. And I love my painting, too. I love them both. Your painting is am amazing. And your statue is butterific. They're different and both great in their own way. Yeah, that's right. It's great to like a lot of things. Right, Mia? Right. <laughs> I like the pumpkin. I like the hayride. And the apple cider. <gasps> oh, let's do a play that has everything we liked about the festival in it. Sounds like fun. We can call the play... Um... Jack and the Pumpkin Stock. Cool, there's a pumpkin in it. Double cool, there's a Jack in it. <laughs> there once was a giant who lived in a huge pumpkin with a goose that laid golden blocks of butter and his sister who loved to paint. This is going to be good. That sounds amazing. What animal is that? Uh, uh, a walrus? A panda bear? Uh, <laughs> I'm a lamb, but I've got a little sniffle. <laughs> Can I play whatever you're playing? Sure. We're all animals. Moo! <laughs> oh, I thought I made a wrong turn and wound up at the farm. Don't I sound just like a little lamb? But I don't know. Do lambs sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go to the farm and see? Yeah! Aww. Let's go on the farm adventure. Hey, Emma! Kobe! Are you coming? No, I think we're going to stay here. Yeah! Kobe's showing me how to make an airplane. Mine is going to fly like the wind! But first, you've got to make that music! Yeah! Fuzzy, do you ever get the sniffles? <laughs> Jack, you can be a horse with us if you want. Sure you've got enough? <laughs> sure, there's a whole barrel over there. <laughs> what? It was just one little wrapper. One little egg. I don't know why it's not dinging now. 
Maybe you lost the little dingy thingy. I guess so. Well, now it's broken and no use to a cow like me. Hot choo! <laughs> Relax, Chicky Chicky. It's just one little tissue. Oh well, I guess it's junk now. What? It's just one little broken bell. Great juggling, Tessa. Wait, it's just one little apple core. Hey, can you show me how to juggle? Sure. Just toss each one up as soon as you catch it. See? Whoa! Broken cowbell. And your tissue, Mia. And your egg, Tessa. And my apple core. And isn't that your wrapper, Jack? All of these things together sure add up to a lot of trash. But it was just one little wrapper. Yeah, but all this little stuff makes one big mess. <laughs> and I don't think the chickens are too happy about all this trash. <laughs> well, I say we do something about it. We all made the mess so we can clean it up together. Good idea, Sophie. Yeah, come on. Let's roll. I believe this is yours. Thanks, but it's Kinda gooey. What can I do with it? Put it in the trash can, of course. Let me find out where it is. Hold your horses. Me! <laughs> Have you seen a trash can around here, partner? <coughs> Chicken style! <laughs> Thanks, Chickity. Good as no 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 New. So, make sure the wings are stuck on nice and tight. Uh-huh. And give it a try. Okay, here goes. Whee! Wow, Emma, can I fly the plane after you? Sure. <gasps> oh dear, a tiny birdie is in there, and she looks a little scared. Aw, poor little thing. If we give her some space, she might come out. Maybe some food will help. A better world is waiting, it's closer than you know. A little bit of kindness can set this world aglow. You can find it on the map or up there in the stars. 
It's spinning deep inside of you, this place we can call ours. Let's discover a better world, where we all do our part. Let's discover a better world, just look inside your heart. Yesterday has gone away, tomorrow's getting near. But today is where we are, let's change things while we're here. It's what you have to give Let's discover a better world Where we all do our part Let's discover a better world Just look inside your heart Wah! You and I can dream to fly to someplace far away But dreaming dreams won't get us there Our actions are the way begins with you. Let's discover a better world, where we all do our part. Let's discover a better world, just look inside your heart. Let's discover a better world, where we all do our part. Let's discover It's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Great! A secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We, we can, can do, do anything together. someplace you can swing really high. I know! What about the jungle? I can swing on the vines. And we won't have to push you. Yeah! Come on! Let's go! With you in a second, as soon as I can stop swinging. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. You were born in the jungle? Does that mean you're a monkey? No, but I'd like to be. I love all the jungle animals. Monkeys, <clears throat> birds, elephants, and penguins. 
Penguins? Hi. Hi. I didn't know penguins live in the jungle. Are you a jungle penguin? No, no. I'm not from the jungle, but it always looked like such a fun place. I thought I'd come and see it for myself. You'll love it. Yeah. Well, wait till you meet all the cool animals. We can show you around. Yeah. I know this jungle like my own backyard. Just follow me. Yes. Let's go. It'll be fun. I'm sure the jungle birds are around here somewhere. You've got to meet them. Um, Eddie? Oh, yes. He's one of my dearest friends. Bingo. <laughs> Hi. I'm Pickles. Nice to meet you. Hmm. What an interesting bird you are. You are a bird, aren't you? Oh, yes. Definitely. See? Wings, beak, feathers. He's a penguin. Hmm. Charming. He's new to the jungle. New, you say? Well, the best way to see the jungle is from way up in the sky. I suppose we birds can take you for a quick fly around. Well, you see, I don't fly. You don't fly? Who ever heard of a bird who doesn't fly? I can swim, though. Underwater. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, swimming's not much use to us, I'm afraid. Why don't you see if they can show you around? Can't fly! Can you believe it? But... Sorry, gotta fly! Bye. Don't worry, Pickles. There are lots of other animals in the jungle besides the flappy birds. Yeah, like the monkeys. They're always in the mood for fun. Come on, I know exactly where they live. They usually hang around here. Um, Eddie? Oh, hi. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I've never swung on vines before, but let's give it a try! Are you okay? Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> but I don't think my little flippers were made for swinging. Ooh, ah, ah. Oh, thank you. What a funny-looking fish. You've never seen a banana? No. But it looks delicious. I brought some sardine sandwiches. They're my favorite. Here, see what you think. Well, that was rude. Oh. Don't worry, Pickles. We can look for other jungle friends with you. Yeah! Like the elephants! Let me call and see if they're around. <clears throat> they must be out of town. Maybe I can try. Sure, but it's not as easy as it looks. I think they're on their way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pickles. Why don't you try? Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I just don't fit in. What do you mean? I'm different from everybody here. There's nothing wrong with being different. Yeah, being different is a really good thing. We just need to remind the animals. Come on! See there, elephant? Can you swing on a vine? Have you seen the monkeys do it? They're swinging all the time. Wait a 
Pyramid of Monkeys Has anyone heard That you can flap your wings And fly just like a bird <laughs> See, nobody does things just like you But that's what makes me me And makes you you You, you, makes you you a big sound like an elephant blasting his trunk all around oh my that is difficult see everyone here is something different to say so they're doing their own thing and that's the funnest way see i might not do things just like you but that's what makes me me makes you 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 makes you you no i I must say, I do like the way you walk. Maybe he can show you how. Oh, that would be splendid. You just have to walk around and make sure you give it a bit of a wiggle, like this. <laughs> Why, I feel different already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now Lucky and I are going to be Dorothy and Toto. And you three can play the other parts. What are the other parts? Well, Dorothy and Toto go up in a big storm and land in a magical place and meet witches. Yeah, there's a good witch and a bad witch and... I want to play a magical part. I love magic. Um, okay, then you're the witch, Emma. Oh, I've always wanted to be the good witch with a beautiful dress and a big crown and... I meant the bad one, the Wicked Witch of the West. The mean, old, ugly one. Oh, and Tessa, you can be the good witch, Glinda. What about me? Um... I know, you can play the Witch of the East, the one the house falls on. But we really only need to see your feet. I guess they'll do. Okay, is everybody ready? Mia, why do you get to be Dorothy? What do you mean? I mean, why do we all have to play witches and you get to play Dorothy? But I'm not Dorothy. But you said you and Lucky were Dorothy and Toto. That's right. Lucky is Dorothy. I'm Toto. <laughs> 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 Got it! Uh, uh, nice catch, Tessa! Zebras like to run through the jungle grass. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Dinosaurs like it too! Stomp, stomp, stomp! There are no dinosaurs in the jungle, Eddie. There are in this jungle. Stomp, 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 stomp! Would your dinosaur like to smell my flowers? Sure. Ah, <sighs> dinosaurs love fl fl Eddie, cover your mouth, please. Sorry. I, I, choo! Eddie. You should cover your mouth when you sneeze. You could spread germs. I think you need a tissue. Thanks. So, 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 so. Use the tissue. Sorry. Why are you sneezing so much? I have owl germies that make me sneeze sometimes. I think you mean allergies? What's that? Scientific fact. Some allergies make you sneeze in the springtime. Yep, I have those. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. It's good manners to use a tissue, Eddie. Please try to remember. Come on, Sophie. Throw the frisbee. Play too. Me too. What's so good about good manners anyway? I bet dinosaurs don't have to remember their m <laughs> See? You don't care that I didn't use a tissue. I bet none of the animals in the jungle would care. 
I'm gonna go to the jungle where I can sneeze all day and no one will tell me to cover my mouth. Huh. Good guy. Play. We're going on an adventure today. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our Was that you, Mr. Parrot? <whistles> it was you. Cool. My turn. <laughs> Whoa! That was really loud. The Duke is always really loud. The Duke? Duke Trunks here, at your service. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Duke. What's your name? I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie. Oh, I like that name. Uh, no, that's not my name. No! Woohoo! That was a good one, I'm Eddie. Oh, wasn't that a good one, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. No need for that. I never cover my mouth when I sneeze. I have the loudest sneeze in the land, and I want to be sure everyone can hear it. <laughs> I can tell we have a lot in common, I Eddie. Would you like to have lunch with me? I'd... Of course you would. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Let's go! Uh, thank you? <laughs> There's my table. I have lunch here every day. A table always becomes available the moment I walk in. <laughs> uh, always? Always. <laughs> hmm. I'll take, uh, mm, one of everything. <laughs> Don't forget to say please. Pronto! Right! Uh, please. Ooh, time to eat! Time to eat! <laughs> the Duke can be a bit hard to eat with. Time to eat! 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 <laughs> His manners are a little... Uh, well... <laughs> he has no manners. Excuse me, Duke. Maybe you should speak a little more quietly. We don't want to bother the other customers. Oh! <laughs> You're funny, I'm Eddie. Come on, join in! Time to eat! Time to eat! Time to eat! <laughs> You're gonna need this. Uh, thank you? Um, excuse me, but could you maybe please chew... <laughs> with your mouth closed? <laughs> Shouldn't you say excuse me? Now, why would I say a thing like that? Because, well, I think you're being rude. Uh, rude? Yes. I thought it would be cool to forget about manners for a while, but it's not. Uh, what do you mean, Mr. Imedi? My name is Eddie. And I mean, that 
It's not cool to have no manners. Manners? Uh... Having good manners means thinking of others and being polite. No, oh, that's completely... <laughs> you don't think I... Wait, what? Really? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. No one has ever told me why I need to have good manners before. No one? No! So you see, I didn't know that I was being rude and making others feel uncomfortable. I apologize, everyone. Oh, I'm truly sorry. Can you forgive me? Of course we forgive you, Duke. Oh, good. And from now on, I would like you to tell me when my manners are slipping. Please. <laughs> they could be so easy to forget. You're right. Sometimes when I'm with my friends, I forget my manners too. Excuse me. I'm gonna go apologize right now. No, wait! Please don't go yet, Eddie. I need help remembering my manners. Well, okay. I guess we both could use a little help. Saying thanks, saying please, cover your nose when you sneeze. Don't be rude and make a splatter. Manners matter. Close your mouth when you chew, cause it's the polite thing to do. A mouth that's full should not chatter. Manners matter. Manners matter! Take a look at yourself and say, Would I like a friend to act this way? If what you answer is no, then it's not the way to go. Listen up, wait your turn. Don't interrupt, it's easy to learn. And if you burp, say, excuse me. It can happen, as you can see. No one's perfect, so just remember. Manners matter. Manners matter. <laughs> Why, thank you. Ooh, allow me to serve. <laughs> Everyone, have a slice. Oh, have a slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Can't wait. Woohoo! Hey, guys, just in time. There you are, Eddie. Oh, careful. The flowers might make you sneeze. Don't worry. If they do, I'll cover my mouth with this. And I'm sorry I didn't do it before. Before, before, Woo! Excuse me. Now I know that manners matter for everyone. <laughs> Even lucky. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Excuse you. Yeah. Uh, that is the smallest apple ever. But it won't. Come down! I'm tired of waiting. Just, uh, getting warmed up. Boing, boing, boing! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah! Big Apple Island! Great! Let's go! All right! Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew. Yeah, gross, right? 
well. See ya. Come on, Tessa. Let's go. Worms. Yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Trees go. Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall, but I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh, but he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall, to keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah, apples aren't angry. They're yummy, except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay, but you'll regret it. <gasps> but what if there is an angry apple? And there's a giant worm inside making it angry. And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> oh, really? We'll see. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I 
don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. <laughs> this apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry, no worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See, no angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> And now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry! Super Ready is Super Ready! Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up! Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> there you are, Nibbles. I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We, we can, can do, do anything together. Good. When do we eat? Love 
your pirate picnic, Emma. Thank you. Did you notice how all the sandwich ships are floating perfectly on Sandwich Sea? I didn't know pirate stuff could be so sparkly and pretty. You made these hats? Of course I did, silly. I made all of this with my own two little hands. I love bedazzling. Do you? I'll show you how. Can we eat first? Like, right now? Uh-uh-uh. Done. Now it's all am amazing and ready to eat. Mmm. Hey, guys. Hey, Jack. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. This is delicious. Why do you have to munch like such a messy monkey? He does this all the time at home. Oh. I can't help it if your sandwiches are so yummy. Oh. Mm. Mm. Jack! What? I wanted to share the most special, perfect, and amazing pirate picnic with you all. But now it's all... well... it's all messed up. Sorry. Emma, maybe an adventure would cheer you up. Yeah, like a real pirate adventure. <sighs> pirate adventure? Let's go! We can wear our sparkly hats. Definitely. I'm going to stay and work on some moves for my dance party. Woo! Ooh, can I help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> See you later. Let's cast off, mateys. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Wait up! <gasps> Where do the pirates go? Pirates, ahoy! Yo ho! Hey, pirates! <laughs> Looks that way. <laughs> Stop it, monkeys! <laughs> Bad monkeys! <laughs> hey, monkeys! like to have the best, most wonderful, perfect pirate day ever! <laughs> so... You just go relax while I, Emma, make your day... Emma Amazing! Hey, it's what I do. Let's get to work! What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Jack, would you be a super-duper helper and call the monkey pirates to the table? Ooh, I think they like it. You do? Of course. 
course. Who doesn't adore sparkly things? And they'll just go bananas for this. Banana burgers! <laughs> hey! Get off the table! Sit <laughs> down! Hey! Wait up! Maybe if we sit... <laughs> guys! Guys! <laughs> sit nicely! Please! <laughs> Let me show you the proper way to eat bananas. But they're monkeys! There's a proper way for everything. See? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> no! Not like that! Not good. Run for your life! But my perfect pirate ship party! to make the best, most amazing, wonderful pirate day. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Delicious. <gasps> Sophie, look. The pirate monkeys are doing everything Jack's doing. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. I can't believe it. They're all imitating Jack. That'll happen with monkeys. Jack, this is amazing. You saved the day perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um. Thank you, Ella. Maybe being a monkey mouth isn't always such a bad thing. <laughs> I guess sometimes you've just got to let people be who they are. And let monkeys be monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, just like we practiced. Hit it, Ziggy! Dance party! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yay! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dance party! Woo! Yeah! And a leap! Woo! Yeah! Ugh. Party, and you're supposed to dance Tessa style. Oh, rat. Guess I got carried away. I kind of like Mia's dancing. Me too, especially that part when you, oh yeah, dance party, oh yeah. That was really so cute. Tessa's style is great, but so is Mia's style. Bunny, Teddy, and Zebra liked it too. <laughs> Tessa, sometimes it's fun to try different styles, too. Yeah, and Mia does have some interesting moves. Mia, could you show me what you were doing with the, uh, 
Definitely. Scientific fact. Lots of different animals drink together at watering holes in the jungle, like zebras. And monkeys. And lions. Roar! And polar bears. There are no polar bears in the jungle, Sophie. But this polar bear won an all-expense paid vacation here, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Here comes a fire truck! <laughs> Is Firefighter Erica there? Can you see her? Yep! And Firefighter Rob, too! Cool! I bet they're going to put out a fire or rescue someone. Ooh, I'd love to be a firefighter. Me, too. Me, too! Why don't all four of us be firefighters? We can be a team. Yeah! A team! Yippee! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, hey, come out and play We're going on an adventure today We're gonna have some fun Use our imagination You can be anyone In any situation Let's go on an adventure Exploring someplace new Go near and far together There's so much we can do So hey someone to rescue. Tessa, look! I think someone found us! Oh dear, oh my, oh goodness, oh! Oh dear, oh my! Excuse me, we're firefighters. Can we help you with something? Yes, you can! Well, maybe you can. I hope you can. Can you? We'll do our best. What's wrong? A friend came to visit me, and now she can't get home. It's too much snow, don't you know? Don't worry. This firefighting team will get your friends home safe and sound. Firefighters to the rescue! Uh, what's wrong, Sophie? I don't know. Rats! We're stuck in the snow. Come on, team. Let's work together and dig this truck out. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my. My friend will never get home now. This is tragic, terrible, awful! Don't worry. We'll get her home. It just might take a little while. Hmm. Or maybe not. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't think a fire hose can dig us out of the snow. I think Sophie has a different idea. Whoa. <sighs> Mia, can you turn on the automatic hose winder, please? Okie dokie. Oh, yummy! I never would have thought of that, Sophie. <laughs> that was brilliant! Now let's go rescue my friend! Firefighters to the rescue! Oh, 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 my friend! There she is! A giraffe. A 
giraffe in the snow. They won an all-expense-paid vacation here and couldn't resist. They? She and her baby daughter. <laughs> Woo! Come on, team. Let's help the baby get off the ice. Don't worry. We firefighters will get you both home safe and sound. Whee! Whoa! gonna be a little harder than we thought. Why don't we try using the rescue bucket? Great idea, Tessa. It's not moving. <gasps> There's ice all around it. It's frozen. Come on. Maybe if we work together, we can lift her out. But first, we need to get her to the side of the pond. Oh, oh. oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's too big. We can't lift her. We have to keep trying. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Mia and Emma, come with me. Don't worry, little giraffe. We'll rescue you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Baby giraffe can't climb a ladder, Sophie. You're right, Emma. Turn on the water, please, Mia. Okay. Water? What's that for? The water froze into an ice ramp. Maybe the little giraffe can climb up it. I think Sophie has a different idea. Tessa, can you skate the baby up to the ramp? I'll try. Huh. Oh, I do hope this works. We work. Mama. Oh, brilliant. Genius idea and such teamwork. You have really good ideas, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts home. Oh, goodness. That ice ramp certainly does look like a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, oh, maybe just one quick slide. Oh my! Could I get a little help here, please? What's wrong? Can't you just fly down? I'm afraid we penguins don't fly. This definitely calls for a firefighter rescue. But our rescue bucket is frozen to the truck. And our rescue ladder is frozen to the pond. We need a different idea, Sophie. Maybe today penguins can fly. Huh? Are you ready to fly, penguin? Ooh. Oh my, this does sound exciting. Yes, I'm ready! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. Firefighting team made me fly! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That was a different and very cool way to rescue a penguin, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these giraffes back home. Yay, team! We did it! Go, firefighters! <laughs> <laughs> we make a great rescue team, guys. Yeah, woohoo! Your ideas were so helpful, Sophie. Yeah, they were really different. Sophie, come look. Okay. Ta da! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Your polar bear 
on vacation took her jungle friends on an ice-filled adventure. Cool! <laughs> let's play! Yeah, let's play! Shake it together! Eddie throws the ball. And Eddie hits it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's running! He's running! And he slides! Huh? Whoa! Careful, Eddie, I'm dancing here. Oops, sorry. Speak. Roll over. Ugh. Tessa, can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too. And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space. Anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now. An, an adventure. adventure! Great, come on, let's go! Yeah! Hooray! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're going to have some fun. Imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Hey, Castle, but it is pretty cool. Hello, I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in, and this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here be friendly to each other. Ooh! When, when can, can we, we move, move in? in? Right now! Yes! Cool! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall-to-wall, any ball all over this place! Even a hundred. <laughs> ah, Steady Eddie is ready to play. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
anyone say something? Oh! Oh, he's shaking the whole building. from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it, not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys! I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? <sighs> okay, so... I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too and be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes! Excellent! Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye! <coughs> When it's time to play, talk to yourself and say, If I do this, will my neighbors feel okay? Everyone wants to have fun, but when it's all said and done, remember you are not the only one. When you think of what is best, not just for you, but for the rest, Yourself. The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Don't only think of yourself The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Now I see that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Kobe are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. <laughs> oh, when Lucky's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the other side of the yard. It's the 
friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> Three, two, one, freeze! Roar! Hmm, I think you're a statue of a dinosaur. How did you guess? Vroom! And you're an airplane. Oh! And hello there, Mr. Froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. You are a ballerina. No, a teapot. Sophie, you're supposed to be a statue. How can I guess what you are if you don't keep still? But I have so many ideas. Like a clock, a rocket ship, a starfish, a chimpanzee, kangaroo. Oh, wait, I have one more. Look. What am I? What am I? Santa Claus? No, I'm a beach ball. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, yeah. I love, love, love the beach. Me too. Hey, I know. How about we go to the beach? Yeah, it'll be an adventure. Let's go. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We were just about to have a scavenger hunt. I love scavenger hunts. What's a scavenger hunt? You get a list of things to find, and the first team to find them wins. That sounds fun. Can we play? Yep, yep, you sure can. Tell you what, why don't you go on one team, and the beavers can be on the other team? Sounds great. Thank you. Woohoo! Great. Now, here's a list of the stuff you have to find. A flashlight. A scarf, a map, and a snail. And remember, they're hidden all over the island. All right! Come on! Let's go! Oh, wait a second. What do we win? Win? Why, it's a surprise! But the items you collect are a little bit of a clue. First team back here wins. Good luck! I'll find the scarf. No, the flashlight. No, the snail! Definitely the snail. Okay. I'll find the flashlight. And I'll find the scarf. I guess that leaves the map. Let's go! Now, if I were a scarf, where would I hide? Maybe somewhere out of the way? Up high, where no one could see me. Aha! There you are. Don't worry, little scarf. I'm coming to get you. Whoa! Oh, rats. I mean, beavers. <laughs> Not so fast. I believe that's my scarf. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Mr. Snail! Here, Mr. Snail. There you are. Oh. What do you know? This 
this rock has a smiley face on it. This would be a perfect addition to my collection of happy smiling rocks. The snail's gone! Oh, Mr. Snail, come back! Could that be the flashlight? Or could it be... <gasps> a cave monster! With, with big sharp teeth and big claws and... <sighs> a teeny tiny shell. It's just a little snail. <laughs> hey, that means I found two clues. Huh? Where did you go? Now, Mr. Snail, are you hiding from me? Oh, hi. I knew you wouldn't hide from your old pal, Selfie. What have you got there? <gasps> Could this be? A banana trumpet! This is the perfect addition to my musical fruits collection. Don't you think? Mr. Snail, where did you go this time? I've searched this whole island. Left to right and top to bottom. I can't find a map anywhere. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> a map! Of course, only a beaver would make a map out of wood. Tessa! Tessa! I found my clue! Great, Eddie! I found my clue, too! All right! Let's get back to show everyone! Seashell! 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 Snail shell! Aha! Can't fool me, Mr. Snail! Come on! We better hurry! But hang me on a second! What is that? Sand pancakes! They are so rare! I've got to add one to my sandy snacks collection! Mmm! Delicious! Oh, Mr. Snail! Not again! Come on, Sophie! Hurry up, Sophie! We can still win! We just need the snail! I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been able to catch it yet. Woohoo! I got it! I got it! Look, he has a snail! Which means the beavers are the winners! We did it this time! <laughs> winners! Sophie, where's your snail? Yeah, what's all that stuff you're carrying? Well, I kept finding all these great things for my collections and kept losing the snail. But the snail would have helped us to win! I know, I kept getting distracted. I should have been concentrating. I'm sorry. Oh, Sophie. Yep. Well, better luck next time. So, what would we have won? Yeah, what are all the items for? Oh, the winners get to fly in my hot air balloon at night. The map is to help plan the route. The flashlight helps us see where we're going. And the scarf's to keep warm. It gets real chilly up there. But what about the snails? Oh, they're just my little pets. I'm always losing them. Oh, there you are. Come on then, beavers. Let's fly! I can't wait! Oh, this is I'm great. gonna fly! I this is gonna be great! This there. is gonna be great! A nighttime flight would have been so fun! Wait a second. I'm sure I've got somewhere. Yes! My special collection of glow-in-the-dark balloons! Come on! Before we miss takeoff! Lovely night for a balloon ride. Can I get some light on the map, please? Hey, beavers! Yahoo! Hello, beavers! We're flying, too! It's so pretty up here! Can I wear the scarf now? Yes, yes, in a minute. <laughs> hey, Kobe! Just a minute. I'm concentrating. 
Oh, yeah? On what? Well, if I concentrate hard enough, I think I can make Lucky fly. Oh, we can help. Great! I think we've got one problem. Gravity is concentrating even harder than us. I think you're right. That gravity, it's always getting in the way. Never mind, Lucky. When I'm older, I'm going to be an astronaut. You can fly in my spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> show is big. Play that music. It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Spaceman went to space, 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 but didn't tie his lace, lace, lace. What you doing, Eddie? I'm going to paint the dog. Paint the dog? Yep, bright green. But you can't do that. Dogs aren't for painting. I want a dinosaur, and I can't find one anywhere. So I want to make the next best thing. A dino puppy. Eddie, you can't paint Lucky. Why not? Getting painted can't be good for dogs. And I wouldn't like it much if I was all wet and sticky. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess you two are right. And we love him just the way he is. Yes, we do, yes, we do, yes, we do. So where am I going to find a dino puppy? Oh, Eddie, everyone knows dino puppies are almost impossible to train. But they're my favorite animal. My favorite animal is a sea lion. I like penguins. Lucky is my favorite animal. And bunny rabbits. Uh, bunny rabbits are just the cutest. We should go find some. There are lots of bunnies in fairy tale land. All right. Let's go. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song 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 Sing this song, sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure Hey, Ruthie! Well, hey there, y'all. What a nice surprise. We're here to play with your little bundles of fluff. Whoa! <laughs> oh, they are having a good old time. I'm sure they'd love to play. Come on, everybody! <laughs> yeah! Hoppy, hoppy, boing, hoppy, boing. Hoppy, hoppy. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Mm, the flowers smell so sweet this time of year. Mmm, yummy scrummy. <laughs> so, can you jump this high? Hey -ya! Whoa! Whoa! Huh? Bernard, you come down from there. <laughs> How does one bouncy bunny? I wish I could bounce that high. I know it's super boingy. What, Mia? The trampoline. 
the castle. Yeah! Let's go! Are you coming, Ruthie? I don't think these little ones are quite bouncy enough. Thanks all the same. Okay. You have fun now. Emma, are you coming for a bounce? Oh, okay. But I hate to leave these pretty flowers behind. <gasps> I know. Let's go! <laughs> 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 How you bounce like a bunny, Tessa style. What are you waiting for, Emma? Don't you want to <laughs> bunny bounce? I don't know what to do with my flower. It's so pretty and dainty and delicate. What about the vase? Good thinking, Kobe. Oh, little flower, don't you just look darling? You know, it would look even prettier with some other flowers to keep it company. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> See you later. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> if Bernard Bunny was on here, he could bounce to the moon. He'd be a space hopper. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, Emma. Look how pretty. Yeah, they're really nice, Emma. Do you want to come bounce now? I do, but now I'm thinking the other side of the room needs to look as special as this side. But the room looks pretty, just the way it is. Oh, it's pretty, but it's not perfect. A few more flowers and we'll be all set. Back in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. <laughs> Belly bounce! <laughs> <laughs> Much better, don't you think? Yeah, good work, Emma. Oh, and the smell. Scrum deliumptious. Yeah! Now come on, you're missing all the fun. Perfect. Well, not quite. You know, a few more flowers might just finish it off nicely. There are so many empty vases to fill. Okay, we'll save you a place. Hey guys, do the bunny flop. <laughs> I'm back. Ooh, that was fast. Wow, Emma, that's a lot of flowers. Thanks. Hmm, it would be nice to add just a couple more. Come on, Emma. We'll help you. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, then you can finish decorating and bounce with us. Um, Emma, where did all the flowers go? Oh, they're just over. <gasps> oh, no! There aren't any. I must have picked them all. All of them? I guess so. And where are all the bunnies? And the birds? And butterflies? I got so carried away making everything pretty, I forgot the poor little animals all need the flowers too. Maybe they've gone to find somewhere else to play. What are we gonna do now? Well, I'll just have to make the meadow as beautiful as it was before. But how? Ooh, I've got it. Follow me. Just pop them on the ground like so. And voila! Good as new. Uh, Emma? I'm not sure this is going to work. Yeah, and they're looking all brown and sad. Oh, Fooey. I think you're right. What a pickle! Wait, look! What are these? Seeds! We can plant the seeds and grow the flowers all over again. Great idea, Emma. Yeah. This is going to be fun. We have plenty of dirt and sunshine. 
Now we just need water and lots of it to help the plants grow. But where can we get so much water? <gasps> I know, the fire truck. Come on. <laughs> The rain begin! Yay! 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 It's raining! There, a nice long drink. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Would you look at that? I've never seen my little one so excited. They do love it here. When the flowers grow back, they'll love it just as much as before. I'm sure you're right, sweetie. Bernard! Hello. Care for a bounce? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Hello? Anybody seen Mrs. Owl? Oh, hello, Mrs. Owl. Say, Mr. Woodpecker, can you keep the banging down? I'm trying to get some sleep. It's not me. Tweet, tweet. Excuse us, Earth birds. We have come to take your tree back to our distant planet. Is that okay? Why do you want our tree? Our planet has no trees, and we would like one. But we will make you a fair trade. Please accept this rare sock. It has a unique aroma. Well, this is our home, and I'm afraid it's not for sale. Yeah, it took years and years to grow this tree. But it's big enough to share. Why not come and stay? That is an excellent idea. I would like to be an earth bird very much. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. Where did they come from? We're the best friends you've ever seen. And we're part of a super team. Couldn't get any better. But we do, we do together. We sing, we swing, we sa sa sing. Like a bell that chimes, we ring a ding. The best part of all, as you will see, is doing it together in harmony. <laughs> Look at us, look at us, look at us go. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, whoa, 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 